Trello social media content calendar guide. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm showing you how you can use Trello for your social media content planning and for your social media management. So let's get started. Now, first you have to do is just go to trello.com and if you have not signed up, of course, you will sign up for your free plan and avail Trello if you want to go with any plan and any pricing plan, you can just go ahead and check it out. And once you're done with that, you are signed up for Trello. This is where you will land. So if you have not created any board, of course, you will not see any of this. And it's super easy to use. Trello is one of the very easiest and very famous project management software out there. And it will help you get managed with your social media as well. And we will be doing our social media planning with Trello today. So let's get started. Now, what I'm going to do is I will simply click on create right here and I will be creating a new board. Now, this board will depend on this will actually contain all of my social media planning and I'm going to use this board for my content planning for this month. So I'm going to name this. So I have named this board monthly content planning and now let's just select a background for it and I'm going to just simply select a color I think and let's go with this color. So once I'm done with that I'm going to keep the workplace visibility to a private because this board is for my Self. So I'm going to create board. What happens is now my board will be created. You can see right here that I have just created a board which is called monthly content planning. And here I will be doing my social media planning, my social media content planning for this month. Now I have different lists that I want to create on my board right here. So I can actually add as many lists as I want to. So I have, I think, five to six lists that I'm going to add. So I'm just going to quickly do that right here. So what you do is you simply click on the title and give a title to your monthly list, of course. And my first list is called new ideas. So you can see right here that I have added these lists that I wanted to for my social media planning for this month. Now, these lists include new ideas, content writing, designing, editing, videos uploaded, and then revised presentations and complete. And these are the different lists that I actually require for my social media planning for this month. So what I'm going to do is you can see right here that I can add different cards to my lists right here. So what I'm going to do is I will simply click on add a card. For now, I'm just going to add, you know, different tasks and I'm going to give them name, for example, task one. So you can see right here, this is how you add different tasks. For example, I had six tasks for my this month. So what I'm going to do is I have added these tasks. Now I want to add all of these tasks individually and I can do actually a lot with a task itself. So I'm going to click on task one, for example, and let's just say this was the task, a new video that the idea I just had. Um, so let's just say that I had a new idea to make a video for my. So I have, for example, the task number one is that I have to create a reel for my Insta page and it is to trying Squid Game Candy uh, because it will get views nowadays. So I'm going to save this right here. So I have added this description for my first task. You can add any description you want to. So after that, I'm just going to go ahead and add members. So I will be actually assigning it to myself right now. And this task has been assigned to me. Then there are different labels that I can create in order to get more organized for my planning and for, you know, to create a good project management workspace over here. So what's going to happen is you simply click on the color or if you want to, you know, create a new label, uh, you will just simply click on that. So I'm going to edit this because it has no name. So I'm going to give it a name. For example, I'm going to name these different labels for different social media because I'm going to be working on all of them. So you can see right here that I have created all of these different labels. Uh, for example, I have added all of these different social media platforms because I will be, you know, organizing different tasks to for different social media account. So I can label them and I will actually have an idea that, okay, this task is for this social media account. For example, this one, this one I created for Instagram right so i'm gonna label it instagram and then for this one actually i will be requiring a voiceover as well i 
will you know need to record my voice and for that i'm just going to label it this way this is how you actually create a label so once you're done with label i'm going to cross that if i want to add dates now this is very important this is how you get organized with your calendar on trello you can actually you know add different dates different start date and due date and a date to set a reminder as well so this is actually how trello helps you get organized and you can actually you know set a date when you're going to post on your certain social media that's actually going to be really you know efficient for you as well so what's going to happen is so i'm going to select a date the date where i want this to be done and i want to you know post this thing so i want to post it on sunday i guess so you can see right here that i have added a start date which is today and then i added a due date which is three days after this now what's going to happen is now i have an idea that this task has to be done in three days and this should be done by 24th and if i want to you know set a due date reminder i want to do that and i advise you to do that too i would really suggest that you add a due date as well for your reminder it's actually pretty good when you are you know organizing your social media and you have an idea sometimes we announce that uh, this is the time when we're gonna post something and it's very important for you sometimes you're out you have forgot about it i don't know like something happened you will require a reminder so i'm gonna add a one hour before reminder so i can actually have an idea after that i'm gonna click on save so once i have done that you can see right here that this is the date for this task and after that you can see all of the other options as well for example attachment option now i can actually attach a link on my task for example i have an example video for myself for this task and i want to you know check it out before making this video or i have assigned this task to my other team member i would really like them to check out this example video by any other content creator so what i can do is i can simply you know paste the link right here and they will be able to check it out once and they'll be like okay so this is the video where we are going to make and they will actually have an idea so this is how we work with the attachment you can add a document you can add the script of course if you have a script for this uh, you can add this script you can add the audio the video you can actually attach anything you want to right here so for now i'm gonna leave it but later i will be attaching a video from any other content creator that i saw to get an idea that this is how we're gonna create our content just for inspiration purposes so once we're done with that i'm gonna cross it right here then there is a cover option and you can actually select a cover for your task and i'm gonna actually give it a nice cover so i have added this cover as well this is just for your own customization purposes on trello so this is how it looks uh, so i'm gonna you know select this one as well after that if i scroll down there are other options as well for example for the automations i can actually add a button as well if i want to move the card from one list to another from one board to another i can move it if i want to make a copy of this task i can do that as well if i want to make a task template if i want to watch this of course because i have selected it watch means that i can have an access to the description that i added to the details i have added of this board of this task after that if i want to archive this task i can do that as well and then there is a share option now i'm going to be sharing this task with someone for example if, if you want to share this task with a particular person or other board or with any person you can actually you know share it with qr code as well that's pretty good option that trello has given its users i can actually print it as well that's pretty cool when you're working and if you want to you know print a card you can do that as well so i'm gonna just leave it for it now so once you're done with all of these settings this is how a task works and this is how we do different planning this is how you can do your planning right here on trello this is how you get organized and you create a task for your social media planning or your content creating whatever you are doing you can do like this so for now i'm gonna cross it so this is how you can actually you know customize all of these different tasks before you know getting it to public or sharing it i actually you know go with for example i have six ideas for this month i will just go ahead and click on every single one of them and for example i'm gonna label this one a youtube because this is gonna be a youtube video maybe so i'm 
I'm gonna name it YouTube video and I'm gonna save the description the labels will be YouTube and the labels will be actually uh, Facebook as well because I will be posting this video on both of these platforms and editing will be needed for this one so after that I'm just gonna cross it and I have created another task if I want to add a cover I will simply click on cover and I will be able to add cover to this task as well let's select this one great cross and cross again so you can see this is how you can customize all of these different tasks now for example my task number one i have gotten the idea now the content writing is created for this one i will simply click on right here or maybe the designing is needed so you can just simply you know just drag and drop it wherever you want to for example once the editing is done or editing is required i will simply click right here that you know i'm doing the editing on this one or maybe when the video will be uploaded, I will simply just move it right here and I will get an idea that this video has been completed. Maybe the task four needs designing and task six and task three need content writing. So this is how I, you know, personally and you can actually use Trello for your content planning and for your social media strategy. You can get your ideas right here and you can actually share it with your team and they can work on this. You can add your content writers your editors and this is how Trello gives you this amazing workspace to work on for your social media marketing or your social media planning so yeah guys I hope that I was a big hug to you make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel